Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to create a new trending rotate zoom effect like this in Filmora and After Effects. I will show you step by step how to make this cool effect so you can simply follow my steps. So, let's get started. Alright, first let's see how to do it with Filmora. So here I added my clips and I added this speed graph to adjust the speed of the clips. You can see I use this graph for all other clips as well. Next we need to do face tracking. Before that change these clips to compound clips. So press Alt G to create a compound clip. Alright then, go to the effects tab and add Mocha Filmora to the clip. And then do the face tracking like this. Alright, first one is done, then repeat the process for the other clips. So here I have finished the face tracking, so next, let's look at how to create the rotate zoom effect. For that, change these clips to compound clips again. So do it like this. Now let's add the zoom. Here I'll use zoom in. I create a keyframe at the start with a value of 100. Then go to the end and change it to something like 160. All right, then let's adjust the key graph. So open the key graph and adjust the graph like this. Alright, the zoom in is complete. Next, let's add rotation. So go to the start and create a keyframe on rotate. Then go to the end and change it to about 20. Select the rotation keyframe in the graph and adjust the key graph like this. Now we've completed the rotate zoom effect. Next you can add some blur for smoothness. Go to the effects tab and search for rotate blur. And add it to the layer. Then go to the effect settings. And here we're going to use blur intensity for this. So first go to the start and create a keyframe. Then go to the middle of the clip and change it to zero, then go to the end and change it to the default value. After that, adjust the key graph like this. Now we've completed the rotate zoom effect. Next, let's apply this effect to the other clips as well. First, I bring this keyframe to this position. All 
All right, then take a copy of these effects and paste it like this. After that, adjust the keyframes like this. And that's it. That's how you create a rotate zoom effect in Filmora. I'll leave the project file link in the description so you can simply copy paste this effect onto your clips. So that's how you make a new rotate zoom effect in Filmora. Next, let's see how to do this in After Effects. So creating this effect in After Effects is very simple because we only need to use a single effect for it. Here I did the face tracking and added the Twixter part, so you need to complete these steps before getting started. After that, let's see how to make the rotate zoom effect. First, let's add an adjustment layer. Then select the adjustment layer and add the S Blur Mo Curve effect. In the settings, first change the wrap X and Y to reflect. In here, I'll use zoom in, so I create a keyframe on ZDist with a value of 1. Then go here and change this to 0.7. Then bring this keyframe to the end. Alright, next let's add the rotate. Go to the start and create a keyframe on rotate. So here, you can start with Rotate or without Rotate. I'll go without Rotate. Then go here and change this to 20. Then bring this keyframe to the end. Next, select all these keyframes and apply this graph to them. Take a copy of this effect and paste it on another layer like this. After that you can adjust the center point, but don't move it too much because it will affect the rotation. Finally, you can add the RSMB for smoothness. Select all these layers and change them to a compound clip. Then apply the RSMB effect and copy my settings. And that's it. That's how you can make a new trending rotate zoom effect in After Effects and Filmora. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're looking for more tutorials like this, you can simply join my channel. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.